Baby, here's your daily reminder to drink some water, unclench your jaw, and find a reason to smile. I love you, and I'm proud of you. Hey, girl. Beautiful Aquarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading today. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, this weekly horoscope, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments, honey. As well, if you do enjoy this tarot reading, uh, Aquarius, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out this tarot reading channel a lot and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way, Aquarius. Also, remember, honey, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, right? You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, honey, because uh, I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Remember that my cards here are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week, but these weekly horoscopes are never meant to make the decision in your life because it's your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards. So, if you're ready to receive your messages today, honey, let's see what's going on for you, Aquarius. We have some, I pulled some cards, by the way, Aquarius. I feel like I always need to explain it of um, just to see where y'all are currently at in your life. So let me just show y'all these cards now. How many times have I said y'all already? <laughs> uh, we have the Nine of Fire or the Nine of Wands. Yeah, the King of Air. Libra just got this uh, card as well. Uh, King of Air, Aquarius. The Justice card. Oh, I speak of Libra, honey. You get the Libra card, Justice card. Uh, Archangel Ragul, 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 Ragul. Uh, number eight for numerology. So write that down. Connect to, uh, and I always like to say, connect to Archangel uh, Ragul if you're interested or open to working with Archangels because he's definitely reaching out to you this week. As well as Archangel Jophiel, the star card. Um, same thing. The only thing is, normally, well, I feel like this is, I'm pretty sure this is like old school numerology, Aquarius, where you combine all the numbers um, into one singular number. So normally, what, for example, like this would be 17 would equal to 8. Um, and so normally, I would tell you to just uh, combine these numbers together. Um, or yeah, combine those numbers together. And then you would have 8 and 8 would be 16 equaling to 7. So it would be 7 technically. But Libra, I do feel a strong sense that 8 is just... Why do I call you Libra now? I do feel, Aquarius, that 8 is actually your number for this week because of it coming in twice for y'all. So uh, just keep to, keep to... I cannot speak for y'all's reading, Aquarius. And now there's something in my eye and I guess I'm just a train wreck, honey. Uh, <laughs> let's just get into these cards, honey, so we can get into this. Aquarius, for you right now, I do just feel as if um, you guys have been going through a rough patch, I feel, and you you haven't been telling anybody. You guys have been in your own journey because of this Nine of Wands here. Um, you guys were fighting, like you guys were having like a silent battle with your own demons, really. Um, just some struggle, and I feel like things are just starting to uh, lighten up for you. So now... Let's start getting into this reading for you, Aquarius. We're going to start with your Nine of Fire or your Nine of Wands. This card says don't give up, uh, protect that which you've created, and to believe in yourself, honey. Have courage and to believe in yourself. So normally, Aquarius, when I see this card, the Nine of Wands, I always say, is like the card of like an individual taking a road trip to go find themselves, to go soul searching. And it's usually a time where you're by yourself at that time, right? Because you don't really find yourself when you're with a bunch of other people. So this is why I feel like you guys, Aquarius, have been just going through like your own inner demons, your own battles. Not really, no one really probably has known like, or knows like the struggle that you're going through right now. But let's get some clarifiers on this. Let's see if we can get a little bit more detail, Aquarius, on what this is about even. Okay, I want one more card. Okay, let's take those. <laughs> All right. So, Aquarius, let me get these cards straight up for you or sorted out for you. We have the King of Wands for you. The Eight of Cups. The Six of Swords. And the Four of Wands. Huh. Aquarius, were you... <sighs> Did you kind of have to, like... 
It's almost like for you Aquariuses, there's something that you had an extreme passion for. Let's just say, Le uh, I almost called you Libra again, Aquarius. I just did Libra's reading, that's why I see, keep on wanting to say Libra, I guess, Aquarius, I apologize. Um, it feels as if like you guys had to like break off from, like you guys had to like take a break, I feel like Aquarius, um, from like your passions. It's almost like you had to put like your emotions, your passions onto the side burner to really like focus on your life in some way. I do get this sense, especially with the Six of Swords as well as the Eight of Cups. Some of you guys probably have moved recently, Aquarius, because two different moving cards, especially with the Nine of Wands, another moving card. Um, yeah, it just feels like everything had to take a back burner for a little bit for you, Aquarius, uh, like your passions and all this. But the thing is, it's been waiting for you on the side here. So that way I feel as if you don't feel as um, bad for taking a pause, taking a break because Death card is in the back of the deck. Um, I'm not going to be morbid and say maybe you guys have experienced a death in your life uh, recently, Aquarius, but I do feel like this death card is associated with like what it is you had to move away from. Really, I this I am going to be very confident now when I say this. That I do feel like some of you Aquariuses have either physically moved, honey, or you have emotionally moved on from a situation or from a person, right? Maybe you guys have gone through a breakup recently some sort it doesn't have to be romantic could have just lost like a friend like no longer friends with somebody regardless of whatever it is you had to just sink your energy into this for a while and to just you know be like all right i need to handle this i can't have time to have emotions uh any of this right you have to just focus on handling that before you could go back to managing your passions again as the king and king of wands and the four of wands so I do feel like you were just, your life was just maybe a bit out of balance for a while. And so you had to just like conserve your energy. And now it feels like the, part, like your soul seeking journey, right? Um, your nine of wands journey is finally like letting up for you, uh, Aquarius. It feels like now things are starting to balance out more. And so you can start putting your focus back into what it is that you were previously doing before you had to go through this uh rough patch here whatever it is, let me know what happened here Aquarius I really am curious to hear um if any of my Aquariuses have like moved like what have you been what did you move on from the uh Aquarius wanting keep wanting to say Libra but now it's because I have the Libra card looking I'm looking at the Libra card yeah what did you have to move on from Aquarius I want to know about that let me know in the comments because now, now that you finally finished this, right, we have the Justice card, <laughs> Libra card, honey, that I keep on trying to push to y'all, Aquarius. This card says, fair and just decisions, do what you know is right, and standing up for your beliefs. So, Aquarius, yeah, I'm, I am feel like it's kind of self-explanatory from that point on, where um, now you are just going back into um, creation mode. I really do feel like it's a place of creation that you're going into. Oh, honey, y'all just got a bunch of cards, <laughs> Aquarius. Like, you guys, oh my gosh. <laughs> Aquarius, I don't want y'all talking to any of the other zodiac signs, especially Libra, <laughs> because you guys are getting the most cards that I usually will, out of all the zodiac signs, I never pull this many cards for people. And I feel like it's always y'all sign that I give this special treatment to. So don't be telling nobody, honey. But um, the clarifiers I got for the Your Justice card, Aquarius. We have the Magician card, the Nine of Swords, the Fool card, we're not done yet, the uh, this is Eight of Swords, the Three of Cups, and you thought we're done? Queen of Pentacles. So, uh, I'm not going to lie, Aquarius, I need a moment to figure out how this story is trying to be told. What is this detail here with this justice, right? Do you feel as if it's funny that we got the magician card for you um all right i figured this out so these three cards go together into one singular message so with your three of cups this is let me break this down for you i guess the three of cups i feel like is signifying um i do feel like it's strongly like a situation of um you're having some anxiety about <sighs> I really want to say like your living space or just like people that you are close to like immediate and i don't feel like it's necessarily like too much distance um it just feels like with this eight of swords and this nine of swords here 
it feels like you guys just were in an, in an environment that was extremely heavy, that wasn't conducive for whatever your passions and your projects, whatever it is that you were trying to put your energy into, right? That I was talking about with that four of wands from before Aquarius. It feels like whatever the situation was that you were stuck in um, or had you feeling stuck, whether it was a person or an environment, um, this is what you're coming out of. That was like what was out of balance for you, Aquarius, where it's just like you had the passion, you had the motivation, you had like everything to do with you personally, you had, right? You, there is no reason, there's nothing that you could have improved on for your life to um, continue living in your passions right to really go after your passions that was what was stopping you was just like some type of environment thing that was causing a lot of anxiety because of that nine of swords being there and also just it just wasn't conducive to your growth um and then aquarius we have the magician card the queen of pentacles and the fool card coming in here for you now that you got out of that situation it's just kind of like that same message with the queen of pentacles where one i feel like you do you now are a little bit more alone right you go from that three of cups where um maybe people and situations just were around you that was influencing you wherever you moved to right now with this queen of pentacles you're a little bit more by yourself now that you are by yourself or not as um constantly being exposed by other people's energies that's when you're in your ultimate creation process right the fool card and the magician card coming in together for you funnily enough the very beginning of a journey right because it's zero and one release two so it just feels like now that you moved aquarius now that you really had to now that you handled the situation now you are now are just in this place of being able to just be in your element to really just now go back to sinking your passions your energies into um whatever it is you had your eye on king of air king of swords for you this card says speaking your mind with confidence seeking out professional advice and balancing mental and emotional considerations see notice this part right here balancing your mental and emotional considerations i feel like this is like the heavy key part key component aquarius as to why um you needed to have like that situation handled because it was just something was just so taxing for you because that's the thing that's what the eight of and the nine of swords represents is just like very much so like your mental um stress right very much so that so it feels like whatever your situation was you just didn't have like the mental stamina or the mental fortitude to be dealing with that str those stressors while also trying to deal with like manage with your passions so now with the king of swords the king of swords always represents having a much more uh it's my favorite card one of my favorite cards for the king of kings and queens but it's a card of being very much so in control and of your mindset and very much you're just feeling good right now mentally mentally you're doing good now so get some more cards let's get some clarifiers for this aquarius nine of wands coming out i want to also point out the back of the deck nine of wands here this is three nines uh three nine of wands coming out for you my god so really emphasizing the um sense like you really had like aquarius i'm really standing strongly in that uh you guys had to you guys were fighting some type of inner demon battle right nine of swords here in the back of the deck here as well like really these nines following you but specific cards following you in the sense like again this is those sleepless nights these are like your haunting thoughts right i'm pretty sure this is even a demon in this card as well like you just had to figure out and handle your demons now aquarius to get a better control of your mental and now with the clarifiers queen of cups the hanged man in the nine of wands it feels like now that you have a better hold on this your perspective or your approach has changed you're seeing things differently and you're able to just now now that you have more free energy you can now just put it towards um and start investing things into um stuff that actually is conducive to your growth almost because with the queen of cups here it's almost just like now you're especially with the hanged man it's like you're seeing i want to say you're seeing like a situation or a possibility opportunity or a person um in a different light now where it's just like maybe before you're you weren't really seeing like the potential with something um but now you're seeing things with better like a more 2020 vision and you're just like actually i can work with this i can do something with this right it feels like now you are able to really just allow your creative uh mind fly with something 
And then we have the star card for you, Archangel Jophiel. Uh, this card says, happy times, making positive, optimistic, long-term plans and on the right path. So yeah, I really do feel like Aquarius, you guys just, once you went through your battle with whatever it was, right? Um, you guys, whether it was with a person or what have you, right? Once you really took care of like whatever wasn't conducive to you, now you're just like, all right, now it's game time. Now it's like time for me as an Aquarius. I'm not an Aquarius, but like speaking as you. Um, is you just now and you are just now in this place of being like, all right, now we can start making those long term plans. So what does that look like? We have the moon card for you coming in. The magician card following you. Uh, the lover's card following you, Gemini. And the hanged man following you. My God. I mean, I was, I love it when it happens, Aquarius, but it's just very interesting that these cards are following you. For this, right, the Magician card is the master of your own reality, right? You're in this creation process, taking matters into your own hands. But it's, again, it's with this hanged man following you, your approach is different. I really do feel like you're seeing either, like... Uh, how you would do something like in a different way like you weren't your mind wasn't open to something before right maybe before aquarius like you never considered the possibility of being like a youtuber right just as an example because you're just like uh no that's not really fitting for my life or maybe there's like a person in your life an acquaintance in your life aquarius where you're just like uh like they're cool and all but they don't we don't share any type of the same interest or passions or have you um i do see you kind of like just seeing things differently i do feel as if now with the moon card and the lover's card there's something that uh you at one point were kind of just like uh, whatever to and now it's seemingly like you're really gravitating towards it you're just like actually no this is what it is like you you really are honing in on something that at one point you thought wasn't just for you it's really interesting i want to know what that's about aquarius for y'all y'all have to y'all will have to definitely let me know what it is aquarius because i'm really i'm apparently i'm just being really nosy for y'all's reading aquarius <laughs> um but yeah overall what i would take from this reading aquarius is that you know that nine of wands journey that you've been having you finally have overcome it and it feels like now that you overcame that journey things just start lining up for you so beautifully and it just feels like you feel a lot more free and it's funny enough because like usually with my cards right i always speak about how a spirit has a plan for you universe whatever insert uh broadness here but for you guys aquarius this is all about just like you you guys have very much so i don't know like you guys are just <laughs> with this magician card you guys are just reflecting it so beautifully where you guys just there's no outside influence it just is like you guys are just in this master creation process and just really in your element so yeah all right now Aquarius. let's get into i'm going to now be doing uh some card pulls on your social and love relationships right because we have more relationships than just our uh romantic ones of course uh aquarius right so we're going to be getting into that as well as my Aquarius's uh, financial and career situation this week. So if that interests you, keep on watching, right? We're going to be starting with my Aquarius's uh, love and social relationships, though, because there's more to our two relationships than just the loved ones, right? You have family, friends, and all of that. So let's see what's going on there for my Aquarius's. Let's see nine of water the strength card and five of water or cups right cups is uh water energy hmm someone disappointed you in your life aquarius that you kind of felt close to at one point there's someone that you really had some high hopes for um that especially with the nine of water it really lets me of like know of like a really intimate someone that was extremely close to you that you opened your heart up to but with the five of water there's some type of mess up right there's something that they did or said and you can't really like it just is i feel like it's been haunting you for a little bit and that's kind of probably why you had to like put a hold on like your whatever it was your passions your wands whatever it was you were doing because you're just like 
you couldn't like every single time you tried to uh, distract yourself with work even like you couldn't the strength card comes in where it's just like no Aquarius this is the time for you to be handling this you can't be you know yeah it hurts but you can't just like continue as if nothing's happened you do have to do a little bit of shadow work you have to do some healing with this situation and so that's what I feel like it was that you've been doing Aquarius I feel like there's just a situation in your life that like really was taking a lot of your energy and you just had to and probably still are coming to terms with it healing with it whatever that happened between you and that this person or persons um still getting over it but i see you coming out like on the other side of it now like you guys are coming out of this dark phase with this situation i don't know i'm not getting a gauge on if this is like a finality sense i guess we could pull no i i feel like it's gonna be different for everybody of course aquarius but it's just like yeah you had to handle this because it's like everything that you did it just kept you remind remind you of like that five of cups of whatever it was they did and you just couldn't you couldn't move on without addressing it and getting some closure with that so um yeah and now I'm going to be getting into my Aquarius's financial and wealth or career situation, rather. You guys have the Renewal card, the Eight of Pentacles, good card to have, and then Five of Swords. So this goes reflects back into the general portion of your reading, Aquarius. So I'm really glad, actually, this came back or this uh, came in because I feel like this adds a little bit more clarity to you to the general reading because this is the Eight of Pentacles. This is re referencing you learning about something, right? Five of Air talks about an unwise choice or the Five of Swords talks about unwise choice. So this goes back to what I was saying and feeling that it's like something that you, at one when you first saw it, you weren't really identifying it as something for you. And now you're just seeing it differently. You learned that it's just like, no, actually, this is actually for me. So whether it's like, a, yeah, I, I can't even think of an example where it's like, yeah, I use the YouTube example, right? Now you're just opening up and being like, actually, I could actually be a YouTuber, right? You're in, your approach is just different. With the renewal card, this is just a sense of like, you just, yeah, I do feel like there's something that you assessed in your work life, Aquarius, that um, you initially passed on before, like an opportunity or something. You're just like, ah, this just isn't for me. I do see you coming around to it and being like, actually, this is fitting for me. But it wasn't fitting for you in the time period that it was presented to you at that point, however long ago it was, right? It was like the right opportunity, wrong timing, but you weren't able to see it being the right opportunity for you, Aquarius, because of that Nine of Wands journey, because you just had so many other distractions. But it was because of this Nine of Wands journey that you had, it just, I feel like it just changed your perspective on things and like what it is that you wanted out of life, what you want out of life and what it is you want to accomplish. And so now, yeah, you're just, uh, it's interesting. So I'm going to close this reading out for you now, Aquarius. I hope you found some cards that resonated with you. If you did, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Share this video with a friend um, as well, because I do the weekly horoscopes for all the zodiac signs. So maybe a friend can find a tarot message that resonates with them. If you did enjoy this reading, I would really appreciate that like and subscribe, Aquarius. And then, yeah, I hope I can connect with you guys some point in the future very soon. I love you so much, Aquarius.